January 9, 1933, George Orwell was born. His real name was Eric Blair, whose own birthday was June 25, 1903. It was only on the publication day of Down and Out in Paris and London, his ninth book, that George Orwell entered literary history. His pen name isn't on his gravestone, and unless you knew what it was, you wouldn't know that here lies one of the greatest men of letters. Um, on his grave, there appear to be three Canadian flags and a laminated paper. Let's see what it is. It says, the notebook page overleaf was on Eric Blair's grave in February this year, 2011. We suspect friends from Canada as three miniature Canadian flags were also placed there. There was also a note with some flowers saying, nothing has changed. This refers to recession and money shortage now. And when Eric Blair wrote the poem, we borrowed the handwritten poem to stop it deteriorating further. And now we're returning it with the full version shown below. John and Jan Speakman from Western Turville. I've come here today to pay my own little private tribute to George Orwell, whom I admire enormously, both as a writer and as a man. And um, I'm actually working on a novel that's set both before and during the Spanish Civil War. And uh, George Orwell has been a huge inspiration to me. Um, his Homage to Catalonia is an incredible book. And it talks about his experiences in wartime with such honesty and precision and humanity. So I came to read the first page of Homage to Catalonia and to thank him for what he's given, not only to me, but to the world. And just as an aside, Homage to Catalonia, what was published on the eve of World War II, was a financial failure and only sold 900 copies. I hope you're laughing, George. This is the rear of the church in the graveyard where George Orwell is buried. And I'm going to make way around to the front where there's a wonderful pub called the George and Dragon to raise a glass to one of my heroes. George. <laughs>